everyone that might be watching these videos. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet certified trainer here in Tempe, Arizona with Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants. And I record these videos uh, just as a supplement to um, what we talk about in class. So today we talked about the cooperative fabric, uh, security fabric that it was introduced in 40OS 5.4. And I had a participant ask a really good question and that is, how does the security fabric really work with non-Fortinet products in the way? Does it see it like as a hop? Uh, does it just add it as another endpoint? And I said, you know what, that's a really good question. So, uh, to answer that, that by the way goes out to, to Juan there, um, thank you for asking such a wonderful question here. So I went ahead after class and built this little topology. Once again guys, I pull these out of my 40 butt, so I'm sorry that they look so horrible. But this is using a network simulator called Eve. And essentially, I've, I've simulated what is close to our NSC7 Enterprise Firewall Practice Lab that we use in class. So essentially, we have the untrusted or the internet out here, and then we have this next generation firewall. This next generation firewall acts as our traditional perimeter network. So this is going to be the last hop before it actually leaves our internal enterprise uh, infrastructure down here. So, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to look at what this next generation firewall can see without the security fabric. Uh, and then we're going to enable the security fabric on all of the FortiGates. And we have a couple of them here. We have one right here acting as an inter segmented, an internal segmented firewall. Uh, these, by the way, act as little containment bridges or containers. Uh, if something bad happens, you know, it doesn't affect the whole network. Uh, you can also do this with VDOMs, by the way. This is supposed to be a, a DC firewall that's protecting a data center, so maybe there's some um, DMZ uh, services that are going to be provided out here to the outside world, and also maybe services on our internal network all right now this one is brand new I just created this uh, after class and essentially it's another segment here and instead of using a FortiGate I'm using another appliance from a different vendor so for the sake of the demo of class obviously you know I just can't pull out a, a checkpoint out of my my nose so I'm using PFSense which is an open source firewall router if you guys have no experience with PFSense uh, I definitely suggest checking it out. It's a great free um, community-based firewall that has a lot of impressive features for being for being open source. So, but essentially, we have another firewall sitting here uh, after that PFSense, and it's creating another containment area. As you can see, the IP addresses are different here. So as it stands right now, everything has connectivity out to the internet, um, but we're going to see the limitations of what the FortiView can see in the FortiOS without the security fabric. So that's going to be our, our first goal here. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So I am going to access this next generation firewall using a internal management PC out here in the core area. Now when we say the core area, uh, essentially it's that part of the network that exists almost like a backbone uh, maybe later on I'll use this exact same topology to do some dynamic routing so uh, but let's get in here alright there we go and let's look at that next generation firewall and I'll, I'll go ahead and log in here alright so this is sitting on our perimeter and once again um, for those that have seen my previous classes, I'm running all of these off of my laptop, so <laughs> I apologize if uh, it's not the quickest thing in the world. But here we go. So this is my perimeter firewall, and all the other devices are connected to it. So if I go to 40 view and I look at my physical topology, right away it's going to give me a, a message here saying, you know what, I really can't see anything beyond the FortiGate. So if I click it, all right, not a big deal. I have my firewall itself. Maybe if I go to access devices, maybe. No. Uh, device count. No, can't really see anything there. So, well, that's not very impressive. Let's go to our logical topology. 
So it recognizes port 3 as, as being something, but not much. Now remember, this is without the security fabric turned on. Uh, but we should still be able to see things like our session table. So these are going to be all the traffic that's passing through all those different segmentations or those access areas. Uh, we can also see our sources. All right, so there you go. So these are going to be the uh, topology. Sorry about that. I actually had my uh, recording software stop on me. So here we go. Let me go back to that topology here. So it's seeing all these devices simply as IP addresses in the port of view. All right. Uh, I can kind of make that a bubble chart, but that really doesn't give us much information, right? And we definitely can't see what's beyond these gateways. Um, anyways, so that wasn't very impressive. Let's go ahead and take a look now at one of these internal firewalls and see if it does a better job. Um, here we go. We'll try the access area one. All right, let's just log in real quick. All right, so here is one of our segmentation firewalls. Okay, and let's go to our Forty View. All right, and let's see what it's. Hey, look at that. Okay, so at least there's something going on there. It looks like we have a client ten, and that is the actual name of this Linux box right here. So we have some kind of transparency there. That's not too bad. Uh, we definitely don't see anything on the other side of the firewall, though, unfortunately. Um, and the reason why, by the way, it can do this is because uh, it has device detection turned on. That's the reason why we're seeing that it's recognizing it as a Linux device and also using the discovery protocol so you can get their names. So we obviously didn't have that turned on on our next generation firewall. Let's see if our DC firewall fared any better. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, so let's go to our 40 view. Let's go to our physical topology. All right, and as you can see, there's just not much going on there. So, um, yeah, pretty weak, guys, pretty weak. So. Uh, we are going to correct that in the in the next video coming up by essentially turning on the security fabric and also device detection on the different interfaces so we can have a single transparency on our Forti gates about what is going on. So um, let's check one more place though just for complete completeness. Uh, so here's a another Windows device that's sitting in between areas. Uh, 10.1.5 and 6 so it can essentially see both sides of the pie there alright by the way I'll put a link up on the uh, the cookbook so you guys can get out there to the Fortinet website on how to set this up also uh, but here we go so here's our PF sense by the way I was messing with some of the firewall rules there awesome platform but I'm gonna log into my gates here and this is the one that's behind the other vendors firewall all right so five dot one actually uh, it's not private no no big deal it is but not for this lesson <laughs> here we go all right so this is my other Intersegmented firewall. Okay, and let's see what it can it can see. So let's go to our Forty View. Let's go to our physical topology. And yeah, there's there's not much there, but we should still be able to see some of the devices that are plugged into it. We just can't really see what that device is. Um, not very helpful on on a larger scale of things so all right guys so that's where i'm going to end this video so when we come to the next video i kind of like to break these up so they're not too too long we're going to configure the cooperative security fabric by turning on
device discovery on the appropriate interfaces and also 40 telemetry and also I'll point the downstream FORTI gates to this next generation firewall FORTI gate that will be our our main upstream firewall so okay I'll see you guys in just a few moments thank you <laughs>